see the floor. Let's just have a look at this. Going to do the electric. Room. This is what the um, winch hinges on. Is this? It fits onto this now. I've actually just realised there's a reinforced piece under there. I don't know if you can see that, but so I'm going to put a bar down, but you might be able to see it. I'll put the camera on. See, there's a much thicker, heavier piece here. It goes all the way along by looks of it. So that's useful. We've really got a strengthener there. <laughs> they must have known I was going to put a winch in. <laughs> So yeah, that's how it's going to go somehow. Or well, there, or there. It's probably going to go somewhere. Might go there, maybe. But I mean, this is pretty solid even without the supporting, so... We're off to a good start with that. Right, I'm going to... Just get these electrics sorted. I want to get this back stuff done before the winch goes on, because obviously... The winch might be in the way a bit for me working, so... Well, it won't be, because you can take it off and just... Use that, but I'd like to get it out of the way. So. Now this switch panel, I wonder whether to fiber up that hole or leave that switch panel in there. Ooh, decisions, decisions, decisions. In fact, what I might do is take that off, leave that on, maybe just put a plate over that one. This one, I will take it off, I will stick something to the back of it, and then I will fill it with either fiberglass or maybe just gel coat or whatever I got to bung it up. And I'll just have a little plate on the back just to spread the, you know, so it sandwiches it. And that should do. I should do this with a screwdriver, really, but I'm being lazy today. Just got to be a little bit careful. Right. I need to hold it if I can. I'm not going to hold that. You would think being stainless, but neat. There we go. That's a lock nut, that's why. And that is why. There we go. So there's the isolator. Right. So, seems a bit like you think, oh, why wouldn't you just leave it there? But to be honest, it's like I say, this is where all the water's going to be sort of from the pots and ropes. So, having a switchboard and everything here is not the best of ideas. So, um, I'll either leave that, or I, if I've got something I can use a plate make a plate up with um, plastic or something and I'll just silk in the back and just push it on, screw it back on. I think that'll be cleaner than trying to fibre it up. I could sit there fiddling with that but I ain't got time for that. <laughs> that'll be something when I've uh, got lots of time and um, to spare and I can fiddle and, and even then, even if you patch it, you'll never get it the same as this colour. Let's work out what we got. So, what have we got? We've got a winch. And a pen that never writes, always the same. Right, winch. We've got... Bilge pumps, a pump. Uh, fish finder. And a GPS. Now, do we have anything else? Think, 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 think. Let's remove the wire that goes to the, to the circuit board. So I will move this across anyway. Although if I buy a new one... You know what, I'm going to go and have, I'm going to have to go and have a look. Check out Amazon, see what the price of a new one is. Be back in a second. Right, well I ni just nipped off and went and ordered another one of these. So we'll keep this one here and we've got another one coming. That makes life a bit easier. Um, I'll just clean this up because it's only had a silicon squidged all over it so I'll get all that clean put it back in put a fresh bit of sealant around it or just around the back plate 
and um, yeah seal it back in there and we'll leave that one there and we'll put the new one on the other side now this has got to go in because this is the plug for the uh, winch now the question is I could put it in there but it's a bit odd there <laughs> unless it goes like underneath here somewhere because the battery will be under there so it could go down there somewhere but it's just how to do it I'm thinking of putting um, well I'm going to put a, 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 like a sheet of ply here well that sheet of ply once it's bolted to there might be enough to take the weight of this with that brace under there of this winch um, deciding whether to put a post in haven't decided yet we're going to see when we put the test test it which I'll be doing tomorrow which for you maybe today it all depends but the plan is we're going to attempt to drop this in tomorrow and see just to see how it's going to fit and all the rest and which way we're going to do it no no there you have it looks in pretty good order considering considering it's been sitting out in, on the boat for whatever amount of time That one I'm going to have to cut. Yes. So I need something to cut it with. Always one thing or another. Mess. No. No, no, it's not in very well. <laughs> That's alright then. Right. Ah, there you go. Right, first part of the way, getting the winch into the boat. We're going to see how it fits and what sort of distance we've got from the side of the boat, that kind of thing. And hopefully it's going to work out perfect. So anyway, we've put the winch here for the moment and we've got this slight problem. I don't know if you can see the arm up there sticking out, but that just literally goes over the boat a little bit. But as you can see, the winch only comes this far, so we're not going to get in the middle of the boat, so the weight is going to go to the right of the boat, unfortunately. So, but we have, I do have plan B, which is, the battery will go to the left of the boat instead of going central now, so it counteracts it. But we're looking at doing this. Now, we, the reason we've gone here is because under here, I don't know if you can see under there, maybe, maybe not, there is some little strengtheners, little braces. So hopefully... Um, this is like a strengthener here and I believe it's stronger there so it's a good place to to put it but we're still deciding at the moment because obviously it's a bit awkward because we wanted to put a brace sort of from there to the side of the boat as well somewhere for extra strength but it's a bit awkward especially with this cover in the way this is what I was worrying about this cover this is why I don't like having covers and things because they get in the way and I don't want it all day down the side here because of stability you don't want to be pulling your boat side on to the tide so you need it near the front to be able to pull the bow into the tide right I'm going to think about it a bit more and we'll be back so we've decided we're going to put that there pretty much roughly around there um, because of where we, it's, it's all to do with the the davit, how far it reaches over the side of the boat, the angle of the ropes, um, strength wise, because under here you'll see there's a strengthener there. Now under here, we've got this strengthener here, but we've got them all the way along, down to there and there. So what we're going to do is we're going to bridge a piece of hardwood from this one to this one to this one, all the way along, just to give it super strength, to spread the weight distribution, and we'll take it right up to the edge over here as well just a length of hardwood all the way along then we're going to bolt straight through onto that hardwood and through this strengthener here that should be plenty but we will have extra maybe an extra bar from the winch and also this will be bolted from here to here with some wood like a thing which will strengthen this up as well and that should be plenty of strength we'll see we'll add what we need when we need it one right in the middle Right, there is wood in there. You can see there, look. So there is a wood reinforcing underneath that. I'd say wood, it might be cardboard for all I know. <laughs> you never know, it's like, oh, I'll stick some cardboard in there. Run out of wood. So this is the, the first hole. What I want to 
wanted to do was and we'll go through see that it's actually made it in the right place right so I what we'll do is we'll make all the holes first and then we'll put that this is the piece of wood we're going to be using which is going to bridge across the strengtheners go up underneath there and then that will be bolted underneath its hardwood so not many problems with that and that will strengthen all these because there's wood bars under the fiberglass here 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 and there's an edging as well and that will brace between all of those and, th and this is very strong very thick as it is but it'll just brace it even stronger then we might have a bar either there or there from the winch we haven't decided yet right right so there we have it it's it's in place it's not permanently fixed yet it's only been put in just to see that it, everything works and it's right it's only got like four of the bolts tied on loosely so it's a bit bit movie but like I say we're probably going to put a u-bolt with a brace to the front of the boat to the side of the boat to give it extra strength we're still working that out we just wanted to see that it's in the right place that everything works um, it looks okay the balance of the weight we've worked out the battery will go to the left of the boat and be strapped that side to keep the balance of this this can also be removed you don't have to keep it up if you don't want to um, I probably will but it depends because when you're banging along and this thing's banging along as well I'm not convinced yet we'll see how we get on with it you know if I'm, if I'm taking off a waves flying through the air that kind of thing which I doubt we'll be doing but you never know um, the other thing that we're looking at is obviously this height now that comes around like that so snaps like that so that will brace it anyway once it's on the seat part but it was for the cover, you see, because I'm going to keep this cover for now, although this is undecided, I may change this whole thing next year, but you'll see it just about goes over, and then the cover can go up, and you see in there that it's actually clear of the cover, so it'll keep it out of the weather and stuff when uh, the boat's, nobody's on the boat. But it also means I can bring this cover up, and the cover's mainly for filming, for to, to it's mainly for you guys, for the wind, so you don't get all the wind, because... Um, me, I don't really care. I mean, I'd, I'd fish with it without it. I'd take this off if it was just... If there's no filming, I'd take this cover off and I wouldn't bother with it. But because of the filming, and obviously the wind sometimes, I want to get the videos looking better, so I'm going to keep it up. And of course, this pivots... This is on a swivel thing. You can lock it, but it is designed to spin like this, so it will face the way the rope's going, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's not fully finished yet, but... It is getting there. Just want to make sure everything's perfect. Right, well, as you can see, I'm working on this bar at the moment. I'll just show you where we are with this. So this has been clamped down properly now, or bolted down. It's, it's bolted down with six bolts. This is the thing that the winch bolts to. This is part of the unit. So that's bolted down. And if we go underneath the floor, you will see the, four, the six bolts there. Bolting it through a, a length of hardwood that goes the whole length of the boat across. Well, almost. And right up to the side there, across these braces, I don't know if you can see the braces there these are wooden under the fibre very strong parts so hardwood stretched all the way across to spread the load so now you can see this is, well this is, you can add your boat on that um, that, but we're, we're not stopping there we may put a post down here uh, with L brackets bolting the underneath of that plank or the hardwood to this so thereby giving it even more strength and at the moment we're just working on this although this is a rough bit of work at the moment but the idea is that clamps around the post of the um, winch with the u-bolt this will go behind there in a t-bar kind of effect or a plate which will go behind there we're using that hole because that hole's there and it's about the right height for where the where we can get onto it. I, I thought about going like this, but I don't want to do anything through the side of the gunnels causing damage because what we might do there is put um, a piece of drain pipe along there to protect the ropes if they whip along there at all, depending on how the winch works and how much tide and stuff you might get the ropes rubbing. So I would like to put some piping along there. So for now, we're going to try it this way while we've got the hole there. It makes no difference because we're not changing the structure of the boat because of that hole. But that we would have to. So we'll start with this and we'll see how we get on with this. 
So it's going to go like that, it'll clamp around that and this can be released or tightened up so that the winch can adjust. But it just gives it that added side strength to the side when the winch is pulling forwards. It's holding there but it's also got a brace there. Plus there'll be the strengthener underneath. So. But this is like I say a work in progress at the moment. And we'll see how we get on with that. But you'll have to wait for this because this will probably be in the next part because uh, yeah we're probably working on this as you're watching this. Well as you can see we're giving up today because we've got what we need done. Um, it's pouring with rain now. Even though it's supposed to be sunny today it's not. Uh, we'll be back on it tomorrow hopefully.